were very interested in leaving Romania and not staying in Romania to perpetuate their own art form. Yeah, people are supposed to be scared de termine și de don, în care și-a exprimat îngrijorarea că tinerii muzicieni intenționează să tărăsească. There is no need for this to occur. No, no. Jazz circles. Now, a pair of gumshoes from North Carolina are using everyday software to place the musician with their melodies. Rick Lockridge explains. Jazz great Vic Spiderbeck played a lot of memorable solos before the bootleg gin got to him and killed him before his 29th birthday. But did he play this solo? This and many other mystery recordings from the early days of jazz have given aficionados something to argue about for 80 years. But now, a pair of self-styled jazz detectives think technology can help them solve some of those mysteries. Now, this is the one we think is probably Big spider -Man. Tom Smith, music professor and jazz trombonist, says it's time to set the record straight about a lot of records. There didn't seem to be enough attention paid to detail in jazz history, and a lot of times it became, as one of my professors once said, the lie that was agreed upon. Oh, baby, won't you please come home? During the Prohibition era, Smith says, record producers often tried to pass off the work of unknown imitators as the product of stars like Beiderbecke, and largely they got away with it. At that time, people never really believed that jazz recordings would be anything that anyone would care about 40 or 50 years and down the line. But recent advances in voice recognition technology convinced Smith and research partner Gary Westbrook that there must be a way to measure every horn player's unique voice or tone. The things that are going to make you and I sounding different on the same instrument different is just the makeup of our face, the makeup of our uh, chambers of our body, the diaphragm, the amount of breath support that we're capable of bringing to the sound. The pair settled on sound wave analysis software by Spectra Plus, usually used to test loudspeakers. The software measures frequency, low notes on the left, high on the right, and loudness. How loud are you at certain frequencies? That's your tone. Westbrook randomly sat.